वीडियो आउटपुट है ना ऑडियो लगा हित का हाल लग रहा है ऑडियो और आउट का ऑडियो इन में दिखा अब ये कुछ नहीं है ये हित ही है ये कौन चीज़ ठीक है नहीं ये कौन करा थे ऑडियो का हेडफोन लगा रहे हैं हेडफोन से हेडफोन नहीं माइक माइक लगा रहा है चाहे हेडफोन ही नहीं लगा रहा है नहीं करना किसी को नहीं लगा रहा है माइक माइक लगा रहा है Keep in by what you might. A better than a better. When you are in service. You are going to go to the airport. 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 You are going to हेडफोन है तो हेडफोन है हेडफोन है मिल के जल्दी तो नहीं जल्दी तो उड़े रहे जो एक दोन पोल
morning everyone honorable principal good captain ujjwal gurwale these guest speakers of the day lieutenant colonel shashikant vaghmore sena medal retired dr nilesh uke principal and professor in computer engineering engineering at trinity academy of engineering kolwa pune administrative officer vice principal senior master faculty members and dear cadets at the outset i would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone present in this hall ladies and gentlemen as we all are aware sanit school society sanit school satara alumni associations meet is scheduled today and tomorrow one of the objectives of this meet is to provide some expert session career in defense after graduation prepare preparation for upsc and ssb opportunities in research and development in india and overall career counseling today we have amongst us both the guest speakers i would like to welcome on behalf of sanit school satara i extend a warm welcome to the both guest speakers first of all i would like to introduce the guest speaker lakhnan colonel shashikant vaghmore sena medal medal retired it gives me immense pleasure to introduce this guest to everyone lakhnan colonel shashikant vaghmore sena medal born and brought up in satara district after completing his primary education in primary sanit school satara he joined this prestigious institution in the year 1987 he was attached to nehru house and later he was attached to karnal house during his schooling he made marks in various fields such as sports like swimming athletics he is the first prize winner in district pending competition and also third in west zone pending competition karnal shashikant retired completed his bsc in physics and joined indian military academy in 1990 and was commissioned in one of the best specialized regiment assault engineer regiments with assault bridges and tanks so also holds degree of a bachelor of engineering in civil colonel sashkant who died was deployed in tanking taking in out mines on india pakistan border for one year and was awarded the chief of army staff commendation card sir was deployed in kupwara kashmir for his construction of a border fence of 36 km he is an ace artist and a single handicap golf player karnal shashikant was in the army adventure sailing team sailed on the world's smallest wind sailing boat with four crew members for more than 11000 km in the deep sea and also awarded again the chief of army staff commendation card he went twice on deputation to indian navy and served for four years in indian navy and indian coast guard he visited four countries and led the team for rescue for thousands of flood stranded people in kerala for operation water baby he was awarded the sena medal and appreciation for from the chief minister of maharashtra for his dedication and de devotion to his services he was awarded the maharashtra gaurav puraskar by the government of maharashtra he also holds an executive course from one of the world's best institution rrm ahmedabad now he is an entrepreneur and started his research the canyon and the olive green in panchkali he is supported by his better half mrs mushali and he is blessed with two daughters Prashita and Karen. The school is honored to have you, sir, here, and I extend you warm welcome once again. Now, I would like to introduce the another guest speaker who are amongst us, Dr. Nirash Uke, Principal and Professor in Computer Engineering at Trinity Academy of Engineering College, Kondwa, Pune. Respected Principal. 
On behalf of him, I extend you a warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to welcome you, uh, introduce this guest to you all, Dr. Nirlesh Uke, who holds the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science and Engineering, a Master's degree in Computer Engineering and a Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science and Engineering. Sir has a vast experience of a teaching as a lecturer, professor, and principal. Sir has extensive experience of teaching at various departments, institutions, and organizations such as Department of Information and Technology, College of Engineering, Pune, National Def Defense Academy, Pune. His excellent contribution in the field of education is recognized by conferring various awards. Awards are EMC Star of 2014 Award at Chennai in 2015, Best HOD Award by Dell India Bangalore, Cybercrime Helpline Award in 2017, Best Researcher Award, International Research Award on Engineering Science and Management, and Excellent Teacher Award in 2018 by MTRES. Dr. Nilesh Uke is also here amongst us. And now, before we start the sessions, we are going to witness felicitation. I now request our principal, Group Captain Ujwal Gurmare, and the guest speakers of the day to kindly come on stage for felicitation. Thank you, sir, for accepting. Now I request Lieutenant Colonel Shashikant Vagmode to kindly receive the token of remembrance. Shashikant Vagmore to kindly take on the session. Stage is all yours. So please. and many potential lectures on various forums, various groups. Right on Argentine groups, I give a session on disaster management, how to get connected to nature, leadership with the crisis, and one variety session that was Apeshakarun Yashakari. Today I am really honored, indeed, I feel very proud to stand in front of you, present colleagues, and speak about my own experiences how my victims is converted into a strength over a period of 26 years. Before starting, I just want to ask you, uh, can somebody define what is a success? What is a success? And what is a failure? And what is the relationship between success and failure? Can somebody? Thank 
inferior ¿Cuál inferior? Periodes are the setbacks which we face while our path towards the surface Ok Anyone else? Anyone else? And what is the what is the relation between success and failure? Failure So now you are treating a success as like an opposite of a failure. Then I let me tell you that that is, that is a success and failure. A failure you treat like an opposite of success, but a failure is not an opposite of success. Failure is a part of your success. You treat it like a part of your success, provided if you don't work hard, if you don't sweat, if you don't bleed, that is a failure. I'll speak in the language you understand more, so that you are comfortable. There is, there is, there is nothing wrong in failing. Who has not failed in this day? I'll give you know, hundreds of examples. We all fail at some point of a time. We lose, we feel embarrassed. We accept that. Who has not failed? The world's richest person, the world's richest man, Bill Gates, failed many times, he just read his history. The second richest, the owner of Alibaba, Jack Ma from China, he also failed. A very, from a very poor family, he succeeded. The third, Steve Jobs. If you read his story, Steve Jobs was a school dropout. He never attended the college. But take an example of Amitabh Bachchan, who failed, he started these uh, new Carried ABC, ABCL, he failed, but he started his, he rise again and started on a small screen and he succeeded. I will give one more example of Sinus Stalin. He was rejected by hundreds of the film industries, but he succeeded to see his movies like Rambo. Or Nolswag Ginger, a son of a farmer from Austria. His dream was to see and high rise buildings. He Went to the US, he pumped on around hundreds of kgs daily, worked for six to seven hours. And then he was a mystery unit for seven continuous years. You see Abraham Lincoln, Nana Patika. The best example is Mirka Singh, who was a soldier in the army and was known as a flying Singh. Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Alva Edison is assisted us in Paris. So we have tried thousands of metals and not a single metal has been succeeded till thousand. You know what I said? He said, Madam, we have discovered that thousands of metals which we cannot make a pyramid from there. When you ask by a press reporter, sir, you failed thousand times to make this pyramid work. You know what I said? I didn't fail. I found thousands of methods to make a pyramid work. That is, that is the way, that is the attitude of some people who was a failure. God forbid in gentlemen, a failure is not a subject which is to be discussed, yeah, which, is, which should be uh, tried. But that the failure is a necessary part of our life and the best way is to handle it, to learn from the failure. From success to failure, it's just a one step. But from failure to success, it's a long journey. A journey of tremendous hard work, a journey, a journey of a sleepless nights, a journey of sweat, a journey of devotion, dedication. But the moment you get to a destination, you get tremendous amount of satisfaction, tremendous amount of happiness. Look at me. And second thing, you can narrate the stories to your 
next generation to your kids, you know, something to tell to your kids. Anyway, I have divided my talk into four different phases. The first phase, I'll brief our childhood, not much, but I just want to tell you what are the mistakes I did in my childhood, which you should avoid. In second part, the turning point of my life, how I prepared for being PC in a very creative way, and fill up the voice which I missed in my life. And third, the lesson learned from my own. And last, please, the question and answer secret. Okay. My general welcome to my childhood, born and brought up in a very small tribal village, no schools, no roads, no electricity. My mother never went to school. Father was six at the pass. His, his father and mother parents died when he was at the age of six years old. He used to tie the cattle outside the school and attend the school. So in 1971, when there was an emergency declared, there were a lot of army equipment camps which were established for outside and inside the Satara district. So in one of the camps, we went to the friends and asked, Can recruit Ben Chandra? They told yes, he just got recruited and he joined the army. In his 32 years of career, he came across many armed officers, their kids, and he dreamed always that one of my sons should be an army officer. So somebody guided him, he joined the primary science school, which is outside the school. From primary science school, you join the school, from there you can enter to ADA, and from ADA you can become a defense officer. With the dream in that mind, in 1978, he shifted to a place near Sarabhada, and next to Canada, in a nearby tent room, where my mother was there alone with the four siblings next to the canal. Like every Bollywood movie, where there are two friends, one is good, other is bad, like one is a Jay and other is a So that one is a studious and the other is a badmash or called notorious. So as such, my brother grabbed their first position as a studious and very close to my parents. And the second position was like a notorious which I was there. Half of the time in the school I was standing outside, either kneeling down or holding my thumb. And even if I was standing inside the school, I was standing on the top of the bench or in some corner facing the wall. In 1987, I joined the Sanic school. In Sanic school, I attended the Vision Concert Program. I was in Vision Volleyball Championship. I went on for Vision Athletics. I attended the Vision Printing Competition. Everything where I can get a good time, move outside. Everything which was non academic, nothing to do with the studies, I was, I was familiar with that. But then, uh, my life was without any visions, without any goal, without any future, without any focus. It was just going on, going on. Till the 11th and I was pushed by that 10 marks from principal, 10 marks from A. Jadav sir, until 11th standard I was carried out. But in the 12th standard, for everything there is limit, and in 12th standard, I flunked. I failed very, very badly in the CBC board in the subject physics. That was the first mistake. And second biggest mistake which I did, I took an admission in the college without telling my brother and my parents, I left the maths. Guru Madam will be quite annoyed. I left the maths and I the day passed, the time went. In the college, I was one class junior to my batchmates. Slowly and slowly, my batchmates started entering the India, Army, engineering. In the second year of my graduation, I was left alone. All my friends, like Colonel Santosh Mahari, Colonel Kedar Kadam, good captain, Suresh Gorpade, all joined me in different, different courses. And I was alone in the college. No friends, nothing.
term in the term break this will be that tight t-shirts tight jeans with that branded shoes the way they used to walk the way they used to talk the way they used to discuss about the academy events and i used to listen very carefully and then the fire started the ignition for in itself in my myself I started thinking a lot. With my capability, I was sure that with that capability during that time, I would have joined some MIDC in a small, some small scale industry, going on that black cycle, Atlas cycle, with a tiffin hand in the center. And from my house, the MIDC was just around a kilometer with that much capability. So I thought a lot. I thought that I need to change myself. This I am an Indian guy who will be coming in a sedan car with the big bungalows, the English-speaking wife, with English-speaking their kids, and I try to avoid them. So I started thinking a lot on the subject, and fire ignited inside me. It was an inner force which forced me, pushed me towards success. That I need to do something. Otherwise, my black Atlas cycle with the Tiffin hand was getting outside. I decided to take my life very seriously, plan to change, and my rebirth took place. I had enough reasons to change my life. The real growth comes when man faces the challenge, the adversity of the life introduced itself, and that's what happened to me. I decided I'll not quit until my dream comes true what separated me from the transformation the possibility of the change it doesn't matter what happened it doesn't matter where i failed twice twice it's matter what i'm going to do in the future i want to creep i want to mourn and say that i failed in physics i failed in second standard i failed in third standard I had some purpose in my life. I started living a life without a purpose. A life is useless. It's aimless. I'm very wrong, and when I say it's hopeless, there has to be some purpose to live in the life. Next day, immediately, I couldn't sleep that night, whole night. Next day, immediately, I went to the school. I came to the school. I met Mr. Karari, that time the librarian. I requested sirs if you can give me the books of 8th standard, 9th standard, 10th and 11th, 12th of physics, biology, chemistry. I took all the books from India, which I think I took the old books from India. There was a storehouse behind my house of a cement godon. I requested Mr. Shinde, he was a contractor. I told him I want this godon for one and a half years. Thank God he gave me a free of cost. I locked myself in that garage for one and a half years. I studied eight standard books, nine standard, ten standard. In the second year of graduation, remember? Because for everything, the foundation is your eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You go anywhere. You go to UPC. You go to IIM Bombay. You go to IIT. You go to any entrance exam. Cat, next set, check. What do you do? The base is you are eight, nine, ten, and eleven hundred, which are less in my life. I didn't take it, it seriously. I know what else. I know it sounds very funny that I was studying of eight hundred and nine hundred and eleven grade because I wanted to fill up the gap of my life. Slowly, slowly, I started discovering myself. I started developing confidence. Over a period of time, I started gaining tremendous confidence of myself. When you are bold, when you got a vision, everything is open. The whole world is open for you. Only thing you need to push it. I started studying for 12 hours and a day, from 12 to 14, 14 to 16. And sometimes you'll be surprised. I studied for 40 hours. I didn't get up. I thought that. I'll also be on that tight jeans, tight t-shirts, branded shoes. I started seeing myself in uniform. Daily I started 
try to develop products to improve myself or mistakes I did. What's the proof? This diamond has been helped a lot in my life. After two months of study of from 8th to 12th standard, don't I choose to be this instead? I was always, I always thought that the God is going to give me one chance. And the opportunity is going to knock my door at once. And I should not be at the neighbor's house that time. Or the God will go ahead. So it's now or never. First time for UPC exam, I went in the, for the Indian exam. First time I went directly to the hall without going to the data station or the fashion street. Give my exam, came back. I was damn confident that I'm going to clear. Because the amount of preparation, the efforts which I picked in for 7,200 hours was tremendous. Tremendous, no comparison. Because always I thought that the God will give you only one chance. Came back from UPC, I realized that I was in the last year of the BSc. And my subject, which I took a principal subject, was the physics, in which I flunked, which I failed. I studied for two or months, started collecting my notes. In the time, my UPC result came. And first time in my life, I passed the exam in first go without any support. After that, I never stopped my life. Never I was afraid in studies. I would have got a chance, if I would have got a chance that time to appear for IS, IPS, IS, I would have 100% claimed it. Because that fire inside me came out. Maybe not in the first chance, maybe not in the second chance, maybe not in the third chance, but I, should have, I would have cleared that IS, IPS exam maybe fifth, sixth, seventh chance. Because that tremendous amount of confidence which I got, I discovered myself that yes, I wasn't cleared. Then the moment of person can invade uh, India for seven eight time and get the success in the seventeenth time. Why can't we do for two, five, six, seven time? I was tremendously happy after the clinical UPS exam, but getting scared as I told that God is going to give me one chance at that time I should not be at the neighbor's house. Or is going to go ahead. So I started preparing for SSB. In the school time, in the school life. Seven years, I never thought of SSB. I never attended any SSB classes or UPS classes. Never. I thought that it's not my cup of tea. And I never, never, ever go in India or IMA. <coughs> but then, after that, once I cleared the UPC, there was one the thought that was in Kolapur. I went to him alone. Three days, he took my free capsule. I studied about the SSB. I came back. Now next is the part, how I prepare for the SSB recreate review. I am sure the juniors may be knowing what is SSB. SSB is a service selection board after playing the UPC. You are afraid SSB to know your personality, to know your inbuilt characteristics. The assessment test are conducted to analyze your potentiality, your compatibility for the defense forces. There was a study, nobody was knowing what I was doing in the motivation speech today. today here. I asked the parents what is SSB. We were saying there is an interview. For what is happening? Uh, I think you want to say that. After three days of the SSB short capsule, I came back and I came to the college and said, Yeah, it is. It is about some frame. In that frame, I did not go up, I did not go down, I did not go right, left. I do in that frame. And if you understand that frame, what is the SSB? 50% of your job is done. Rest 50% is your only hard work. So for the word appreciation phase, in you know, SSB or whatever word appreciation phase, public appreciation phase, good task, good discussions, interview. For word appreciation phase, the first thing which I did, I purchased some small pocket diary. I underlined all the words, around 3,000 words in the diary, like a loop, a lie, I put in all words which are possible coming in the SSB. I did a full scale note. On the left side, I wrote the words. On the right side, I wrote the sentences, thousand words. I kept on reading loudly in my that got on that room that nobody was hearing me. After few days, I got an idea that yes, I got one of uh, uh, tape recorders from my one of my friend Kedar Chandan. I got a tape recorder, I purchased around 10k. 
cassettes. In that cassettes are recorded all the words, like a loop, the watch in front of me, tick, 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 a line, tick, tick, tick. At that 10 cassettes, I used to play daily and practice. So, without any sentence, I don't think all the sentences were coming when I was writing after 3, 4, 5, 6 days. I practiced so much that I, I, I always thought that I don't want to take a second chance in my life. Now, coming to the thematic application phase, since I was an artist, I went to a rugby shop to purchase an around 5 to 6 kg of rugby of that central exercise paper, which is one side in newspapers. I got made around 200 sketches. A lady sleeping, a boy standing, a postman sitting outside, all that, the, the, which was the earlier result, I put it on the left side. And I started writing stories. Every day I started writing stories, preparing for my back, for my tat. Nothing was left. Because always I thought that that black color atlas cycle is waiting outside for me if I don't clear it. Single officer of Satara, whom I have not taken my interview. Like a lecture like chamber, I used to go and stand from the survey interview table, please, please. I did not leave the principal of the school also. Principal, headmaster, I didn't leave anybody. I went to each and every video, and since I was one bad junior, so that time there was a term break, and all the AJ characters, I am a character on the term break, so I went to the The reason was that. I wanted to get to adjust to their faces. That and the best part was that if you take a French take your interview, they know your weaknesses. They try to grill you around their weaknesses. And then you get adjusted to that grill. Otherwise, you start spitting in front of the interview officer. So the finally the D-Day came, I got a SSB call from the Bangalore, I was terribly confident that no one in this world can pay me now. Since there was nothing left, I practiced and and then I went to SSB with our school, with our I went to Bangalore. When I reached the Bangalore station, a big tall guy with a moustache, a red band came to receive us on the railway station. There's a cyclist is going to watch you. From the railway station itself. So I was looking right and left at the psychologist took to me. Because that was what he was told earlier. First thing I said, early morning, got up. Never ever I still cannot. 80% came from the thousand bat and the picture celebrity. In the back, I revealed my, all my hobbies. Thought I knew what to and what not to write. Direct me. So I, I was very familiar with their faces. I sat with them, talked with them. And the same, around 90% guys called me for that group task. In my Bible, I had written my hobby as a painting, as a painting page. So during my practice, Colonel Mahesh Chakta, he told me that, Shashi, if you are writing as a painting as a hobby, Ensure that you, are, you should have a lot of knowledge on the pets because around 70-80% of the officers have got a dog with them and so I had seven German children of the army. So it's better that I have a lot of knowledge and don't bluff there. So one of my friends, Anil Raikwar, was there. His brother was a veterinary doctor. I went to him. I sat with him. Got a lot of knowledge from him. What are the types of breeds? What are the types of dogs? Because in our house, we had a cow, buffaloes, parrots, and we had a dog, but then that knowledge was absolutely raw knowledge. I was not knowing it. Mountain, which is found with the shepherds. It's the fastest dog, it can run. It's a dog which Queen Elizabeth, when she came to the India in 1963, she had that dog in the ground. The colonel reducing, but 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 it's not happening, it's not happening. This is my last time I'm going to appear and last time I'm going to. If you how much efforts you have taken, so ask yourself. You'll get your answers. In my final interview, looking at my biodata, 
By entering after all, very, very curious to know. It is Shashikant, you completed your 12th in 1994, in 1998, you are applying for BSc final year. I was knowing here, you must have come to know that I failed. But then, just to pull me, you are asking. So he asked me, what happened? Sir, I think physics. But I took it as a challenge in BSc and I took a PhD in my BSc, I took a principal subject as physics. So this is what your weakness converted to a strength. Every event, fantastic. For 25, 21 guys, 21 carrots. Two cleared in the SSB, one was self, another was the son of the brigadier. Then well, let me tell you, when you are alive, you require that inner force. Inner force you require to break the outer force, your parents, your friends, your teachers, your neighbors, all external force. It doesn't affect from in the new life, at the end of what I will do. or not have to study, study and study. I was I couldn't run on it, but I loved it after that. I did auto instructor. After that I did my civil engineering. Served in defense for 22 years. Served in Indian Coast Guard, Indian Navy on depression for four years. In all of my career. I got a first award in 2004. They will be off for Akram when I was deployed on the India Pakistan board in Deccan Motor Mines for one year. Still, I don't know the reason why. My CEO, my selected me only because there will only be me with around 150 my Jawans and we were taken on the mines on the board of India Pakistan. I was awarded Chief of Army Staff Commission Card for that. And second, I got into the passion of sailing. Because I was always knowing that after 20 years I'm going to leave the forge. I leave the dream of my father. So I got into the passion of sailing. I thought that I'll sail, I'll do golfing and all the things. I sailed on the world's smallest fiber boat. Fiber boat, which is around 21 feet, with an around crew member of three only in the deep sea. Our bare boat was just of a Side of your, the deck was on the side of a bed, king size bed, six by six. So months together we were out with four guys were on that, four by four, and they were sailing on the wind. If there is a wind, we sail. If there is no wind, we just stop and wait for the wind. So months together we were in deep sea. No stop, nothing, nothing. There is nothing called as we stop at the night. We are we just sailing. And I sailed around 11,000 kilometers. For which again I was awarded the Chief of Army Staff Commission Card. I was at the Army Artillery. The volunteer, the hobby, habit of taking volunteers never stopped. Again, I volunteered for construction of 36 km of trains on India Pakistan border in Kashmir on the face of the enemy, where I lost around six <coughs> my commands. After that, when I was posted in the Coast Guard, I volunteered for the Operation Rahat, that was the plus. I was the first to induct on the Iruki Dam, so Asia's second largest dam, with a team of deep sea divers, with some element of Air Force, Navy, and I was inducted first, being in the Coast Guard also. I volunteered at least. We rescued around 1000 people, standing people. That was a very good experience. And for that, I was awarded a Sena Medal. I was awarded appreciation from the Chief of uh, Chief Minister also. Finally, and for the devotion, dedication, I got a Maharashtra Guru Purushan also. Finally, I took an decision to hang my uniform. I started preparing for the CAT exam and demand exam because I wanted to do uh, some management course in the world's topmost university. So I started preparing for one year in the last minute, I decided that I'm going to do uh, have the uniform. 
I prepared a lot. I got selected for IIM Mandala. I did my MBA course, uh, sorry, my executive course in IIM Mandala against one of the top universities. If you have a dream in your life, live the life in IIM Mandala. After I am uh, hanging my uniform, I started my own resort in one of the best places in Panjigani. There were 100 kilometers of the panoramic view by the name Canyon. After six months, I told you, if, it, if you get a habit of doing hard work, the success is for you. After six months, I started my second resort in the Mahabreshwar by in my own name, uh, by my uniform name, Olive Green, the Olive Green, next to the club member. The habit of the hard work followed by success never stopped. I failed, I failed many times, I failed now also. But then I took the failure as my part of my success, a part of my journey. Now coming to the third part, the most important part. This is the canyon. The most important part is how I learned from my life, from my own mistakes, which is very, very important. And I want you should not create the mistakes that I done. First is keep your best clear. Gentlemen, this basic which we learn in the school from 8th standard to 12th standard is the basic of your foundation of your life. As I told you, go anywhere. You go for any exam. You go for CAT, you go for GMAT, you go for any exam. This is the foundation which I missed in my life. And I pay a heavy amount for that because when I was doing my engineering, I had to hire a tutor to learn that differentiation, integration, trigonometry. A girl who was 10 years, sorry, a teacher who was 10 years younger to me. Differentiation and integration when I was in my engineering. In your practical life also, this, what you learn now, practical life also is very, very, very important. I'll tell you an example. They said they were purchasing one motor for our well. So when I went to the vendor, I asked him, please can you give me a motor? He first asked me, how much is it? Horsepower. Then he asked me, what is the head? The third question he asked me, what is the capacity of your well? What is the volume of your well? Then I started remembering. See, my diameter of my well is 25 feet, and height is 40 feet, and pi r square head, divided by 3, that, that, that. And then I started calculating the volume. But then, quietly I was referring to the formula. So what I want to convey you, that don't miss this basic, the basic of your life. Where do you go? Your history, your geography will never change. It's going to remain there. It's better to learn and then forget. Our brain always remembers something which is different. Never forgets in life study. You'll never remember which, which mobile your father had in the last 10 years. But yes, if your father had that circular shape of mobile, a cuboid, a very uh, different shape, odd shape, then your brain will add to the mobile, which mobile you have. So always you should try and find some creative way to study. Let me tell you, still I remember that periodical table, the way I remember. On the right side, it was like the Himika Arkra Janana, Hinium, Neon, Denon, Kenon, Krypton, Redon. On the left side, it was like the Kasra Bakra Mara, something like that I was remembering, but still I can immediately remember. The way, the creative way that time I learned. Till I, after that I started learning that I can, today I can remember around 30 words uh, sequence wise. If you ask me sequence, I can tell you the words, uh, the words, you can tell sequence that you all know what it is. Because the brain always remembers, but which is something different, which is something unusual. If you ask me after two years or so, hey, sir, you just enjoy, just enjoy. If a friend comes and says, it's going to go to don't say, I am not going to do it, I am not going to Go for a movie, but then when you come back, punish yourself. Two hours ago, I have seen it, now I will punish myself by six hours. Punish yourself. 
What is the result? If I don't do this chapter, I'll not eat chicken for one week. If I don't do this, if I don't remember this, I'll not eat chapati for today. I know it's very difficult. But then punish yourself. This punishment will help you a lot. What am I going to do? I had a fight with my friend in Paris. Today I'm going to say sorry. Come back and before sleeping, ask yourself, whatever I have written in my diary, have I followed it? To pat yourself, you have done it. If you have not done it, abuse yourself. You should feel yourself ashamed. Day by day, you stop making your mind your ashamed. Before sleep, ask the back to yourself. Ask the question to yourself. While you study, keep on drinking water. Your so brain is made of 80% of water. And it requires a hydration. Keep on drinking water. After every 30 minutes, keep on sip, sipping the water. So that you hydrate your brain. Keep it active. Follow 25 minutes concept of study and 5 minutes of break. Take it 3 rounds. 25 minutes study, 5 minutes break. 25 minutes study, 5 minutes break. 25 minutes study, 5 minutes break. After that, take a break of around 30 minutes. Why that 5 minutes break? Because our brain always remembers the incomplete things. If I study this much and I left in between for 5 minutes, my brain will start completing in that 5 minutes. It will sit down and it will start thinking. Again, go back, study for 25 minutes. Take a break of 5 minutes. <coughs> Repeat this for 3 times. I take a long break after that, around 30 minutes. In that break, what you have to do, you have to go outside, see the nature, see the plants, see the water. Because we all have come from the nature. My body is made of 80% of water. Water, what is water? Water is the nature. When you, why we get excited after seeing the water? We get excited after seeing the water because we have come from the nature. Millions and millions of years before, it has been proved that we have evolved from the nature. And that is the reason why we get excited, our brain gets excited. Study like a teacher. If you are good in some subject, teach somebody. I am damn sure, when you teach somebody, <coughs> to teach it within your heart. Don't try to make your mistakes. If you are good in making some subject, tell somebody to teach you. Study like a teacher. Make a time to feel the last moment. I have told you the brain. brain. Why are we our brain? Because I am on the bus, there was one subject as in neuroscience. And I, I was very, very excited to study that subject. Your brain is a very amazing thing. You know, we, we must have utilized maximum 10 to 15 percent of your brain. A person like Albert Einstein, he must have utilized 80 percent. But around that, 80 or odd percent is wasted, just wasted. Polish your brain, only polish, only to enjoy. I never thought that I, I, I remember all these things when I was in school. Make a time to be the last minute because if you have decided that I am going to study your biology from 2 to 3 o'clock, if you are not sleeping, your brain gets activated. You must have, uh, you must have remembered that when I, when I was used to go to the airport, I was sleeping around 3 o'clock. But my eye used to get up at 2 o'clock and then start saying, Are you alarm to you? Are you alarm to Because that is what your brain starts giving you a signal that you will get up at 3 o'clock. You will get up at 3 o'clock. It will happen to you. If you understand your brain, brain is healthy. Reach 20% and revise or recite around 80%. Then when you keep on reading for one chapter, close the room, ask questions to yourself. Ask the question, answer yourself in your own language. You will remember that more than teacher teaching you. Don't tell your answers to your teacher, but you answer you in your own language. You keep on asking questions to you. Keep on asking, why the God is there? Why these dreams are there? Has anyone thought it? Why these dreams are there? Why the shape from the town is like this? There are hundreds of reasons. You keep on reasoning yourself. You get answers, answers, answers in your life. You ask, why the holes on this ball? Why there are curtains, so many curtains? What is the reason? Why is the carpet and all the wood all? 
What is the shape of the auditorium is a different shape. Keep on asking yourself. You get hundreds of questions. And you get hundreds of answers. And all of these dots will start getting connected over the period of the body. Focus. Try to understand one concept at one time. Like if I am understanding this concept, why there is a rim around this bottle and why it is not a plain bottle? There is some logic, there is some reason. A lot of people must have done research on this. I will understand one concept at one time. I will take down the concept why it feels like this. Why it is not a, of a size of one inch. Maybe our finger, well, I don't know the finger is different. Maybe I am not able to hold. If I hold it like this, the finger will start failing. Study different different concepts at different different times and that links each other. Your brain will start linking and linking and linking. And you get a habit of asking questions to yourself. If you don't develop the habit now, you'll never get it. Now the last is knowing who am I. It's very, very important. Be a biggest fan of yourself. Look in the mirror every day. Pat yourself. Yes, I'm smart in the world. I'm the most intelligent man in the world. Even though if you have got a mentor, that if my senior master was there, what you would have done? If my principal was there, what you would have done? Am I doing correctly? Know yourself is very important. The day you come to know yourself, that what you are exactly, you come to know what you want exactly. I was knowing that I have got, I have beaten some X, Y, Z. I started focusing on that X, Y, Z. Study yourself best for the best days of your life. Your parents, your teachers, they're just the external forces. The internal force has to come from inside. Don't force yourself for the sake of forcing. Know your strength, know your weaknesses, study your weaknesses, make it a strength. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was from Austria, from a very, very small village, He's the son of a farmer. So I thought he could speak English. He had a dream to become a Mr. Universe. He went to America. <coughs> he tried to learn English. But because of that, it's mumble words and because it's slang, no movie he was getting. So his weakness, he used as strength, he made the movie Terminator, in which a robot language was there. And which went the super easy. So what I want to say, if you have got some weakness, make it as your strength. But then you have to work on the weakness also. I told you that start writing diary. So, gentlemen, last two years before only I had disposed of my diary or I have got it here. I had three diaries. You can ask my wife, you can ask my parents also. When I used to see my diary, I get a lot of emotion. So that is why I disposed it. The bus has gone over. Keep on writing the diary. Nothing bad in that. Write yourself. Don't write the whole story and let your whole time. Write the point form. Point form. So that when you look back, you understand what, what exactly I was doing. What I was doing, what I focused, what I had some goals, some vision. And I was going without any end. When I look back 26 years, I realize that you cannot connect the dots by looking at your past. Only thing in your life you can connect the dots by looking at your future. And that connecting the dots is very, 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 very important in your life. The most one important thing which I will tell you, we had uh, one PT master, uh, Subhash Shastri. He is a major Subhash Shastri. I learned a lot from him. I, I, Such a nice that every day when he used to come, he was a pitch master in our school. When he used to come out of his barracks, he used to say, and we, uh, since a mob mentality like this, he used to ask, Sir, I'll stand there. And he used to really laugh at him. And he used to be from Jesse Daya Sabu. There used to be somebody here who is going to pinpoint you all the time. 
Any questions? I don't know. I uh, praise on too much. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm just everything went up. Yeah. Fantastic. But then I would say, it gives some life for your nation also, yeah? 
lot of countries like Israel and all these countries, they were compulsory to join in the armed forces. That armed forces, looking at the armed forces officer, it's totally different. It gives a sense of achievement. Or which? Yeah. Good morning, sir. I am Amit from Shah Today I want to ask why failure is important to learn something. No, this is what I was saying earlier. God forbidden the failure is not a right thing. But yes, if you fail, I had uh, say that God forbidden the it's not good. I failed because I didn't take precautions. I, I had a very casual attitude in the school and that is why I failed. So what I want to say, why I am standing here, that whatever I have mistakes I did should not be done by you. And let's pray that you should not fail. But if you fail, the failure should be a part of your success. Make it a part of your success. If I would have failed that time, if I failed that time, I will just stop and not go to school. Then that would have been a point of success. Make it as a failure. Who doesn't fail here? I told you there are hundreds of examples. Everybody feels in life, but then say, it depends upon you how you take your failure. If you want to take a part of success, you have to treat a failure in a different way. So, try to avoid a failure. It's not that you fail, who oh, I fail, success, who oh, I fail. Yeah. That's not a good. Next. I hope you guys are motivated. Yes, sir. I hope you got motivated. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Colonel Sashikan, for a wonderful session. Now I invite Dr. Nira Shukri to kindly come on stage to take over this session. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Principal sir, Adam officer, Rajita, senior master, my friend, good old friend, friend Gay, and my dear student. It required 27 years from that last day to sit with principal. I took 27 years and come here. I came many times over here, danced for it with declamation and all those things, but this is a very proud feeling for me to stand in front of you and give something what I know or what I have done. By the time he put my presentation on, the first and foremost is that why we are here is to join National Defence Academy. Now if that is not done, then what? That is my aim to tell you. What he did is the same thing. What he felt that it should not be repeated. Even I am going to do the same thing. If you do not get into NDA, all of you, then how to get into CDS, maybe IMA, OTA, or maybe Naval Academy, or maybe a force doing engineering. That would be my today's talk for next 60 minutes. I will be covering 
something that I just still had to on. Just insert it. Any agent can will not save anything other than SSS. Open that file, and any agent can will not have anything pin number other than his school number. Open that, and the presentation will be there. Most of us will do that. Well, I'll begin with what type of exams are there to get into engineering. The prestigious institute, what he said about I am, I'll be initially talking about how to reach there. IITs, NITs, and triple IITs. <coughs> These are governed by central government, state government, and third institute called as triple IITs, Indian Institute of Information Technology, where you get only two degrees: B.Tech in computer, B.Tech in IT, or B.Tech in electronics. That is it. No mechanical, civil, instrumentation, marine, any of that. But the third institute is in PPP model. 33% state government, 33% central government, and 33% any private partner. And that is why you may find that fees are more than two lakh, three lakh, and above. Whereas in IIT, there it is that's not the case because it is completely the education is given by the government. Thereafter comes the government colleges. Let's talk about Maharashtra because if you are home university is Maharashtra, you belong to. Other than, uh, apart from Maharashtra, they are fall into different category other than home university. And their reservation is something different. All these things I am going to tell you about this one. The first thing is that our aim, target should be NDA. Nothing that. Even we never give NTSC exam, National Talent Search exam, when I joined this prestigious institute in 1984. And pass out of 1991, and what names he has mentioned, uh, those are my few of them are my classmates. Also. Yeah, the traits are there. Next one, sir. Okay, <coughs> next 55 minutes. I have already taken 5 minutes. Why engineering we should go? Right? What is the admission process for IITs, NITs, and triple IITs? We need to go through JOSA. Whereas for Maharashtra government, 330 engineering colleges in Maharashtra, we need to go for MST CET. Then how to select the college or which college to be selected? Yesterday I got a call from one of your senior. I remember, I think Prajapati some name is there. And he said, sir, I got this mechanical engineering in this, this college. And I'm not happy with this. What do I do? You know, come down. Come to my college, meet me. He didn't meet me yesterday. I was there till 1 o'clock night in the office doing work. But he didn't come. Whereas I told him, go and ask other friends who are there with me. I have Mayur with me, then uh, uh, Sagar is there. And three, four more Ajinkas are there with me. But he didn't come. And I think he got sick that he thought that I have paid the fees. Fees will not be returned back. You can cancel your admission at any point of time and the entire fees and entire documents will be returned back. That's the rule and everybody has to do it. But the only thing, he was not aware about that. Okay, fine, next. Selecting college, I'll tell you how to select the colleges. Career and defense after engineering. He joined, maybe you are not extended, you joined after your BSc. Yes, sir? Shishikar? You joined after your engineering. Uh, BSc. My, I... I started at 6 o'clock, my uh, other partner in the car was standard air, air force officer, he was a pilot. He joined after BSc agree. Whereas my other friends are XNGA and have uh, 21 pass out, even 22 pass out. And maybe I think Dr. Sansan are sitting with me. Next. Why engineer? An uh, engineer is sitting in front of you. Is behind every from whether it is smartphone to a shoe. And what does engineer do? You are aware about it. Okay. Whether it starts uh, from your school to college and from your uh, waking up till you sleep, the everything that is built up is by engineer. Medical profession is a completely different one, whereas engineering profession is a different one. Next slide, please. This is something theoretical, 
you can read it at any place, but let me just put 5-10 minutes on this. This requires a strong mathematical and physical, uh, physics. Any engineer, whether you are computer, IT, mechanical, marine or instrumentation, you require a strong mathematical foundation, basics and then physics. If these are poor, you will flunk somewhere, you will not able to get something. Because anything and everything you will find revolves around that. Okay, engineer makes different to the world. Whether it is from bridges, civil engineering to structures, and a computer engineer, smallest, uh, the, uh, maybe microphone, this one, it is all engineered. Whether it is even in a robot surgery, you will find engineers are there. Next one. And you will find, still we require many engineers. How many? Next slide. You will find these technical papers near about, this is just borrowed from some other uh, sources, near about 1.82 million number of people will be required by end of this year or by next year. And you will find in 330 colleges in Maharashtra which are private and all other and maybe 5000 engineering colleges in India produces near about 18 lakhs engineers per year. And still there is a enough need. Pune has 5000 IT companies, MNCs. Whether it is Mercedes or Telco or everywhere, you will find manufacturing said AK, Rajiv Gandhi, 1, 2, 3 phases, everywhere IT companies are there. Many of our Jinkers are also having their own companies in IT Park. Next one. Now, the admission to engineering is through two ways. One, enter, next. For the autonomous institutes or say institutes run by central government, state government or maybe mixed. That is for IIT, NITs and triple ITs. You require to give a JE examination and minimum age is 17 however which may vary uh, from uh, institute to institute little next this is the place where you can see every detail whether the institute is recognized whether the university is recognized whether i should take admission or not aict is a governing body all india technical <laughs> education this is a governing body for central government and everything is there. Currently, I have just listed how many engineering colleges are there in Maharashtra which are private. I have just selected it. Private means it is governed, governed by all the rules and regulations by uh, government of Maharashtra, but they are private. So there are 310. I have not added government college here and named universities. And how, what is the intake? So current intake of Maharashtra engineering college is 1,29,000. And 1,30,000 number of students applied for engineering this year. Admission process ends tomorrow by 5 p.m. Next. Now, JE and MHC CET. With both, you can get into any of the engineering college. If you give JE, the first priority is go for IITs, triple IITs, and NITs. Okay. Whereas with JE, you can enter into Maharashtra government or any other government, any other, uh, maybe, uh, maybe even in Bihar and all those things. Because it is a centrally conducted exam, near about 17 to 18 lakh students appear for GE and few of them also go for NEET. So there is a mixed crowd for both PC, PCM and PCB. And this year for I think 14 central universities this separate exam is conducted, common university entrance test, CUET. There are certain universities which is complete, they are, these are not IITs, NITs and triple IITs, but they are central universities. And this central university lay, they had a different entrance test online again. But I think this year the government is trying to club all these things, but we, we are not aware whether it is going to happen or not. Next. Now. We have two JEs. One is JE mains, we call it as, where you will find enormous number of posters outside and they charge maybe lakh, two lakh and give online and all, all those things not required. My daughter is in one, not joined any of the classes, 
he is studying in the class. We both, husband and wife, are teaching her, and she is going to crack GE, and she will go to do IIT. I am aware about it. Not required to go and pay those money. In Sunday school, we never had any classes, but we cleared UPSC. We cleared twelfth, everything nice. There was nothing different. Only your regular studies is important. Okay, there are thirty one. Uh, 20, uh, what I say is uh, IIT, NIT is 31, IIT is 25, and there are 23 IITs. But for IITs, you do grant JE advance. Okay, for rest, your JE mains is fair. Okay, the process is Josa, you have to enter there, and you may have a 3, 4, 5, counseling 1, counseling 2, these many rounds are there. Okay, I'll explain you the process of CET. Similar is there with the JOSA also. Next. Uh, just one back. I'll just explain one more. Apart from IITs, NITs, triple IITs and central universities, there are dimmed and private universities. Pune has near about 10 private and dimmed universities. I will not explain you the difference between dimmed and private universities, but you can say that it is not run by state government. They have been given a choice of fees, they have been given a choice of collaboration, they have been given a choice of syllabus designing, and that is why their fees are maybe 3 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, even up to 10 lakhs. Whereas if you are in central government universities or state government universities, fees will be very less. A guy who is getting admitted in my college, my college fees is 91,000 rupees, I am just giving a comparison. A scheduled cast student will get 4,000 rupees fees, scheduled tribe will get 6,000, NT category will get 11,000, OBC will have 36,000, EWS will have 45,000, and even the open category students can apply for the scholarship. And that is why your domestial certificate is very important, and that chap did not have a domestial certificate. Domestial of Maharashtra, if you say domestial of Maharashtra, your reservation comes 70%. And Maharashtra government gives scholarships or free ship to only those guys who are Maharashtrian or your parents are Maharashtrian. Okay? So your fee concession comes down automatically, maybe 50% or 10%. But if you go to private and university, no rules and regulation. Okay? And that is why by, by taking any decision for admissions to any engineering or uh, medical or even in pharmacy college, if you are having a single doubt, call me at any time, I will guide you, okay, final decision will be yours. Okay, next, there comes the private colleges later on. Uh, I think you will, uh, you can get anywhere this material that how many tests are there, how many paper are there, how many hours are there, you will get it at any point of time, which I will just skip. But hereafter, maybe after one month or two months, uh, JE or CETK forms you will have to apply for that. If you don't apply, you will never get admission in any of the engineering college. You will have to only go to private universities, spend money 3 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs per year for next 4 years. Apart from your stay, which comes near about 70 to 80,000 rupees per year and food separately. Okay? So I am just giving you the rough figure for the finest indulged in four years of graduation. Okay, next one. Yeah, these are the places where IITs are there. Next. Uh, these are something with more details about IITs when they started. I'll share this presentation to you. Next. Next. These are the government colleges in India. Uh, not India, Maharashtra. The why government colleges? There are 10 government colleges and first one, College of Engineering Pune, this year it has been converted into university. Earlier it was a government college, now it has been converted into university. It was affiliated to Pune University earlier, Savitri Bhai Pune Pune University, but it got converted into autonomous. And autonomously now they have become an university. Now I will just two minutes spare which to understand what is autonomy. There are colleges which are autonomous and there are colleges which are completely uh, comes under the university. Now autonomous colleges like VIT or even the 
maybe PCCOE or any other college, they have their own way of designing the syllabus, academic autonomy. Okay? They can set their own syllabus, need not to refer to the uh, university syllabus, they can conduct their own exam, they can declare their own results, they can tie up with any of the foreign university, they can go send for the internship and do anything and everything related to academics. But final degree will be given by the affiliating university. Final degree will be given by affiliating university. That is the meaning of autonomy, academic autonomy. Uske upar hota hai then private and Indian university. Now, COP has become, earlier it was autonomous, now I have to write there. That's why I put it in yellow color. Now it is an university and that is why their fees has changed. Earlier it was maybe 10,000, 11,000, now it has gone to 90,000 or whatever because they have to earn the money and then run the show. Now it has been detached from Pune University now. Rest all the colleges, my elder brother studied from government college, I studied from government college of engineering Amrauti and so on and so forth. Next. Next slide please. Now these are the colleges again private but completely aided, run by state government. VGTI, Walsham, Sangli, Sardar Patel, Mumbai and SGGS Nandet where I did my PhD. And I am happy to say that my PhD guide was 1981 passed out, late Dr. Thul. Okay, next. Apart from this, I told you about different and private university, the private university. Okay, what are the opportunities after BTEC? So every BTEC can be, again you may get confused, BE degree that is Bachelor of Engineering is given by any college which is affiliated to state university. Okay, and BTEC degree is given by those colleges which are autonomous. Right, why? Because they set their own syllabus. Pune University, there are more than 107 colleges affiliated to Pune University. Out of that, must be 15 colleges which are autonomous. Those 15 colleges are given degree of BTEC. Final degree will be of Pune University. Okay? But they will give BTEC degree. Whereas other colleges, 1995 colleges, will give BE degree. Whereas IIT, NIT and Triple IT by default gives the degree BTEC. Okay? That is the difference between a BTEC, that is Bachelor of Technology and B, Bachelor of Engineering. Every college has a good placement. Some of them have a very excellent placement. So that is the first choice normally everybody sees ki this college mein placement achya hai kya. Whether it is, and that too, many times now parents also ask kya, sir, what is an average package? For last one month I am doing the same thing. Everybody asks, what is the average package? Whether Google comes, whether Uber comes, whether uh, PSPL comes, Infosys comes, I say yes, they come. But the package starts from 8 to 20 and it depends upon what you speak there. Interview ke do ghande mein, how you interact with that technical and HR and other things like SSB itself. And if you are very good, they may give you 20 lakh package per annum. If on average you may give 8, so there is a range. There is not a fixed scale like defense forces or maybe armed forces or any other uh, jo government agency mein hota hai. But there is a fixed scale nahi hota. Okay, so it is placement in IT sector, one core job. Core jobs means as in ONGC or BSNL or maybe civil construction or maybe PWD. These are the core jobs or you can go to IT sector. One more thing, everybody is running behind IT and computer, not required. A mechanical engineer can go into IT sector. Have you referred C book? Koi C ke kitabhe padhe aapne? Uh, is there C or C++? C, C++? Python. Python. So C book has been written by Kanekar. He is a mechanical engineer. C++ books are written by Balguru Swami. He is an electrical engineer. Jis ne C tayar kiya wa, he himself is not a computer engineer. Okay? So do not run behind computer and IT. A mechanical engineer or an electrical engineer uh, even a civil engineer can go into IT uh, sector. Then, through gate you can go for a post graduation. Higher studies like MTech or ME, you can go for a research, 
or you also can go for a phd what i did i did btech and i did bta i did mtech i did research and i did my phd 10 years back and currently i am in into teaching even though i am on a on a administrative job i am into teaching next after this also you have a job ONGC raho NTPC raho BSNL raho all the PSUs requires gate if you have a gate you can directly join those companies nothing else not even interviews all PSUs will recruit you even DRDO NCL NRD they check whether you have a JRA or maybe you have a gate and they will recruit you okay next one private sector also you can go so gate can be considered as one of the bigger qualification when gate is an exam for doing post graduate in iits nits and triple it uska basic aim hai post graduation ka but now it has been used as a qualification next one what he did is mba yes you can always go for mba in any of these one and you also can take a job in a various field and today i'll be talking about last one that is other test next one you can go for upsc psc railway or any other or you can go to defense services next one now this entire process of admission to engineering is online okay you need not to run here and there everything sitting at home avoid mobiles but sitting at home you can do it next this is a joint entrance examination main space which is conducted by national testing agency and i am happy that national testing agency is also conducting entrance test for the senior school entrance which we were not that time nta did not do that uh, principal and other administrative people used to uh, take examination so you have to go there appear for that first paper second paper earlier there used to be four attempts for ge but from last year there are only two attempts the first attempt will be there in january or february next one then after you clear the je or je advanced by default aapka admission nahi hota hai you have to participate in josa that is joint seat allocation authority similar to ct ct dene se aapko engineering college mein admission nahi milega even though you have a good score what you have to do you have to apply in cap round okay i'll tell you about that so you have to get into josa get your document verified upload all your document pay 1000 rupees or 500 rupees whatever fees they are and then you are inside the process they give you the merit list all types of merit list merit list of your own category general merit list state merit list so sare merit list dete hain next one next slide and this is for the cet so this is the, uh, this year uh, cet portal and once you have filled in all your details then you can go for cap round next one now i'll talk about cet which is a similar uh, i'll say in the entire process of admission and the next is similar to your uh, jos also first one is appearing for cet which is an online examination at various centers on different dates and this makes a problem this year the examination was was for 22 days let us say Ma, uh, pune or in entire maharashtra there were 100 centers in 100 center 17000 student appeared on that to morning and evening so 17000 me se uh, 70000 in morning 9 to 12 ke exam ke liye the percentile is calculated for those 1700 students क्वेश्चन पेपर आउट ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन जो भी उनको सब क्वेश्चंस मिले थे उनका परसेंटेज कैलकुलेट होता है और आफ्टरनून सेशन इफ देयर आर ओनली सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट अपीयर्ड उनका परसेंटेज अलग होता है एंड दिस एग्जाम कंटिन्यू फॉर मोर देन ट्वेंटी डेज तो एवरी बैच हैज इट्स ओन परसेंटेज व्हाई बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन पेपर वेयर डिफरेंट ऑनलाइन है ना क्वेश्चन पेपर वेयर डिफरेंट फॉर देम एंड मेनी टाइम्स इट हैपेंड अ एवरेज गाय गॉट गुड मार्क्स and the best student also got did not get good mark why because percentile is calculated based on percentile the highest person getting out of 200 ke out of 200 if the highest student got 117 so he is given 100 percentile and the backward counts 
In the second batch, let us say uh, uh, 20th uh, December, एक बच्चे ने exam दिया है, maybe 10,000 students gave exam, and in that exam, the highest student got 198 marks, so he get 100 percent done, and rest all is the backward. So there is a huge gap between the person having highest mark 117 and person having highest mark 198 and the calculation of percentage. Let's not go into that, but that is a system, nothing can be done in that. Next. So first thing is, maybe next 15 days, but 20 days or 2 months, you will find the first uh, notification for applying to PET. This is just for online examination, entrance examination. Then the results will be declared, you will get a percentage. Remember that if you do not have 45% qualifying marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics, or physics and mathematics and maybe computer application physics mathematics and any vocational subject but physics and mathematics is important for the and for reserve category is 40 that means if these many marks are there you are not fit to do any technical education earlier it was 50 but now it has in after covid it has made 45 okay Next one, to anybody who is not having 45% mark, is not, will not get admission in any of the engineering colleges in any part of India. In some, and if somebody is giving it, he is doing something fishy with you. Next. Then there is a centralized admission process, we call it as CAP. Again, it is an online process. Next one. Once you apply all the documents on this online portal from your signature to photograph, ask validity, 12th mark sheet, 10th mark sheet, PDF banake, you upload it, your email ID, OTP, everything is given and your documents are uploaded. It takes one day to scrutinize all your documents. However, you have to go to any of the facilitation center and get these documents verified. Okay, so this is called as scrutiny, your documents are scrutinized and at that point of time if you do not have caste verification, caste validity, you get converted into open category. If you do not have physically handicapped document, you get convert, you don't get that reservation. If you do not have maybe defense officer uh, certificate, you are not getting that 1%, 5% of reservation. Okay, so document has to be prepared as of now. I'll tell you the list later. Next. After your everything scrutinization is done, your merit list is prepared and that is the provisional merit list. If there is some lacuna or some error by the government or your mark you incorrectly entered, there is an grievances for two days. You can change whatever you want by putting your grievances. Next. Then the final merit list is declared. When the final merit list is declared, you will get a merit number, general merit number, category merit number, your home university merit number, okay, other than, so there are n number of merit numbers. This gives you, uh, what I say, a wide guess in whether I am going to get admission in government Karad or COB Pune or maybe it's PIT or PSAT this. For that you require that merit. Apart from the cutoff of last year, merit number is the important factor to see. After the merit list is prepared, you need to fill 300 options that which college you want. Abhi merit number dekhna hai ki my merit number is 15,000 and last year 14,000 pe COB me computer branch close hua tha. BGTMA IT branch was closed on 70,000. Let's not go for that. So, merit number is just a guess or some thumb roll which you can put the option. You have to give 300 options. Fill the option and you can rearrange. Now, this is the place people make mistakes, which I will tell you uh, maybe in the next slide. They fill the options, they know that they are not going to get it. QOP you need 98 and 99 percent percentile, nothing else. Nothing less than that. 99.99, you will find 5,000 students are there. 99.98, you will find another 2,000 students are there. 
And if your score is 96, why you are putting QOP then? Absolutely, you will not get it. I am just giving you a rough idea. So you have to take those 300 options, fill it, take a printout and keep it with you. Once the options are given, there is a program inside, computer programs is there, he allocates depending upon your merit and depending upon your choice, the college is allocated to you. Now, you have given out of 300 options, you have given 100 options or assume 50 options and with that cap round allotment is done to you, what you can do, you can accept that college, maybe 17th or 20th college, you can accept it, go and report, pay the fees, your admission is done. Or you can accept that 17th college and you can go for betterment, that means no, no, this is uh, the thing I may take but let me go for betterment in second and third round. So you can accept by paying certain fees and go for betterment. So betterment means what? So this, the college which you have accepted, it will be there with you. But you can choose in the second round anything better than this. Okay, that is called as betterment. So ye option and you can choose any other college above that and again you can fill 299 option why because one option is always there with you that is called as betterment or you do nothing ki yeah, i have filled 50 options and mujhe allotment nahi do hua hai kuch mat karna hai ya fir mujhe 20th option mila hai don't do anything sit quiet ideally so that you get into round 2 if you accept freeze your seat and do not report to the college you are completely outside the cap round and you will be not getting admission in any of the engineering college then ok so you have to caution you have to be very cautious in selecting what options you are doing and whenever you feel that ye mujhe samajh mein nahi aa we are there to help you out then if the first option mein nahi hoga after 3 days second option starts second cap round starts same process but in this case if you have accepted and second is to be aapko wahi mila you have to go and report it simple access or you can again go for betterment or you can say the ideal you can go automatically to the third round after the third round you cannot do anything jo college aapko option mila hai you have to go and report it pay the fees whatever is the fees allocated to you and the fees is not charged completely <laughs> Depending upon your reservation, you know 50% reservation is there, apart from EWS quota is there, economical reserve section for open category and all, okay. TFW is one seat, tuition fee weaver scheme, this is applicable to everybody, irrespective of any of your religion, caste and all those things. TFWS, tuition fee weaver scheme, this is over and above. If my college is supposed to take 60 students in computer, I will get additional the three students for TFW. I have to uh, teach them free of cost for all four years. But for that you require good marks. Then only you get that TFW seat. Otherwise you can go for economical weaker section, all open category students can apply for that. So there is a reservation of 10% in that case also. And I was talking about they don't charge you entire amount. It charge uh, the government doesn't give it to students and students pay back to the college, no. We are not supposed to ask you the fees, whatever is the fees given by the state government, only that much fees is to be given to the college. I am talking about only the colleges which are affiliated to the state universities. Private or dim universities ke baare mein baat nahi kar rahu. On the very first day the entire amount is to be deposited, whether you cancel the admission or do whatever, entire amount is to be deposited on the first day. Next one. And then last one, you have to fill the option form and report to the college. Next one. And now, let me tell about this. Many people talked about management quota, the private colleges may, management quota is not there for any of the state run colleges, government colleges. Okay, 100% is through, uh, what I can say, uh, uh, MSCB or through GE. Management quota, normally government has, uh, in Maharashtra we have 330 colleges, private colleges. In Pune, we have 108 private colleges. Good one. 
बट दे आर रन बाय सम प्राइवेट एजेंसी की जगह पे आई विल कॉल दैट ट्रस्ट सोसाइटी एंड दिस इज दिस 10% परसेंट ऑफ देर सीट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द एंटायर टोटल सीट आर टू बी कैन बी फिल्ड बाय देम बट देर इज अ रूल द एंटायर प्रोसेस जो हमने बताया अभी वही करना होता है बट देट इट इज नॉट फॉलोड एंड दे ask for certain donation so this is called as management quota next one it is also called as non cap round agar koi seat bachti hai aur kisi ki vacant rehti hai to wo non cap round mein hota hai let us say tomorrow india admission is done if it there is no scholarship you have to pay the full fees you are not benefited for any of the scholarship next it is also called as spot round spot round means they call you at 9 o'clock if there are vacancies go there stand there With the complete DD and the candidate, candidate has to be there. Okay, complete DD and candidate. If there is a seat and they call you, because there are three stand, uh, uh, parents standing there. Okay, how much is your mark? How much is your mark? How much is? Okay, he is having 87, 77, and 52. So that 87 person gets the admission and is done it. This is called as non-cap round. Nobody will ask you additional fees. It is only the total fees of the college, and the fees is. सेट बाय फी रेग्युलेटरी ऑथॉरिटी कॉलेज की फी किती असायला पाहिजे हे गव्हर्नमेंटने ठरवून दिलेलं आहे इट इज ऑन देअर वेबसाईट सो देअर फोर हाऊ मच इज अ फीज ऑफ अ कॉलेज नॉट ओनली कॉलेज वेबसाईट इज हॅविंग इट इज ऑन द एफ आर एच वेबसाईट विच इज अ स्टेट गव्हर्नमेंट एजन्सी नेक्स्ट वन अँड देन द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ क्लासेस विच हॅज स्टार्टेड लास्ट डे नेक्स्ट वन रिझर्वेशन फॉर Backward class 50, uh, total 50 percent. Reservation for uh, uh, what I say defense, it is 5 percent. Reservation for disability 5 percent. Reservation for EWS that is economical weaker section, it is 10 percent. Reservation for orphan 1 percent and female candidate 30 percent. At you that is home university for all of you, your home university is Kolkata University. Because you are doing your 12th from Satara, Satara, Sangli, and Kolapur, you fall into this one. You guys taking admission in Pune University, you comes under 30 percent. Any Pune guy want to take admission in Satara, he will come into 30 percent. Any guy who is in doing his uh, 12th standard in Nagpur, and if he wants to take admission in Pune, he comes into 30 percent. उसको नागपुर रीजन में चाहिए ही कम सेंटर सेवेंटी परसेंट तो दिस इज होम यूनिवर्सिटी एंड अदर देन होम यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वेन आई से अदर देन होम यूनिवर्सिटी इट आल्सो इंक्लूड्स ओएमएस कैटेगरी ओएमएस मीन्स आउटसाइड महाराष्ट्र स्टेट कैटेगरी विच एंटर थ्रू आइडर बाय सीईटी और बाय जेई आल्सो यू कैन गेट एडमिशन बाय जेई एज वेल एज बाय सीई अगर आपने दोनों एग्जाम दिए हैं तो दोनों एग्जाम के मार्क्स भरना है ओके okay, आपका जेई का स्कोर कम है तब भी आपको दोनों मार्क्स भरना है दैट ऑलवेज इज बेटर बिकॉज माई अलॉटमेंट विच वन इज गुड इज योर नॉट अवेयर इट इज द प्रोग्राम विच डर दिट ओके नेक्स्ट वन दीज आर सर्टन डॉक्यूमेंट्स व्हाट यू रिक्वायर गैप सर्टिफिकेट माइग्रेशन एंड ऑल ऑल दो थिंग्स थिंग आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट आधार कार्ड स्कूल लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट सीटी स्कोर यहाँ पे राशन कार्ड इज देर दिस इज फॉर दोज हैव मोर देन टू किड्स उनको स्कॉलरशिप नहीं मिलती है फ्रीशिप नहीं मिलती है दैट्स राशन कार्ड इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर एंड इनफ नंबर ऑफ फोटोग्राफ नेक्स्ट एंड वन मोर थिंग डोमेसाइल इज इंपॉर्टेंट गेट द डोमेसाइल सर्टिफिकेट क्रिएटेड मेनी ऑफ द डिफेंस ऑफिसर्स डो नॉट हैव ए डोमेसाइल सर्टिफिकेट एक्चुअली इज कनल मनोज देश पांडे विच चक्र ही केम टू मी एंड ही डू नॉट हैव अ डोमेसाइल सर्टिफिकेट other friend of mine uh, uh, barge he, he has a software company but all his both the uh, kids are has a domicile of uh, what i say uh, america so they cannot participate in this even though they are here for last 10 years right so get the domicile certificates created if you do not have finally if you are living certificate is mentioned with nationality indian agar wahan pe birth place likha hai that can be considered as a domicile certificate in place of birth and nationality and domicile certificate okay these are the certain uh, free shop and scholarship limits 
Uh, you will read it uh, from any of the manual. Next one. Just skip this. These are the branches. I will not dwell upon that. This this one. I aerospace. Next next. Automobile. Bio uh, medical. Bio car. Chemical. There is only one branch in engineering which requires biology. That is biotechnology. Okay. That is in very few colleges. Rest all requires PCM. केमिस्ट्री नहीं रहा तो कंप्यूटर चलेगा केमिस्ट्री नहीं रहा तो ओकेजनल सब्जेक्ट चलेगा बिल्डिंग मेंटेनेंस चलेगा बट फिजिक्स एंड मैथ्स इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट वन जस्ट गो है पार्ट बिकॉज दीज आर जस्ट अ ब्रांचेस और कोर्सेज चूजिंग ए इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच और मे बी कॉलेज अगेन इट इज अ वेरी डिबेटेबल क्वेश्चन and electrical from electrical there was a birth of electronics maybe there was a birth of computer in 84 or 82 somewhere psc started the first institute giving computer knowledge then in 1999 we started it branch in three private colleges in uh, pune kamis cnd and adivai but then we started it branch in 1999 Uh, now there are 47 colleges where IT branch is there. Then AI, ML, DS, this started artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science started in 2021. So you will find branches will come. Me mechanical was the core branch, and now mechatronics is there. Production. These are the sub branches of that. Okay. Next one. Now these are certain courses where. Uh, after engineering, whether you are in third year or maybe university entry, there are n number of entries into this one. You know, uh, Shashi and other engineers who are into, they may uh, uh, give more information about this. But let me just tell you who all are required. Technical uh, graduate entry and whatever students are staying with me right now, Ajinkas who are studying with me, they are aiming for this. They are aiming for entry, and I created a defense club. Okay, I have a swimming pool of 50 meters constructed just right now for those guys. Maybe a rangey can succeed. It's not a big cricket ground. I have a turf ground only for these guys. I want them to go into defense organization. रात में दो बजे तक वो basketball and football खेलते रहते हैं because I have all flood lights and all those things. It is 140 acres campus. and uh, every facility is given to by Huntington and just because i wanted to go to nda i could not and anyhow i have lined up in pune for some or other work and there was an advertisement lecturer in nda i thought let me go and see i was just graduate in 95 and went there and there were many people sitting like an interview commandant took my interview And he was an Air Force person, I think, uh, Air Marshal Srikha, and uh, naval person also. And they took interview. They understood that, acha, you are from Sri Lanka, sir. I said yes. Maybe 50, 60 people. I was selected for computer science, and I taught from 91st course to 114th course. I was instrumental in starting BSc course in computer science. Earlier, I think NDA had only. Uh, BA and B, uh, BS, uh, BSc, techies and non-techies. But we started from 97 course giving BSc computer science degrees. And last three years on that they started BTEC also. So there was lot of problem. BTEC four years का होता है इसलिए तो तीन साल होते हैं कैसे करेंगे? And one of our uh, what I say is na uh, Air Force officer was looking up for that. Kari, Vishwas Kari, group captain. I think not group chapter about that. Covered uh, uh, Kare. He was looking after that BTEC course, and there are MOD has sent five divisions for BTEC course apart from BA and BSc. Okay, so you can enter through whatever. Now PGC 130th course is going to come in February. So all my engineering guys who are in final year, they are trying for this now. Okay, next one. This is direct technical entry. Then you have executive branch in Navy. That also you can always try. Next one. Next. Okay. Then you have short service commission. You have heard about this many a times. 
and you will find mostly all the branches, all the branches which are there in most of the engineering colleges are eligible for joining for short service commission. Next one. As well in the Navy, electrical, electronics, mechanical and any of the electronics and physics. And apart from that, there is an another, this one, NAI. Uh, this uh, entry is also there after uh, graduation, uh, uh, engineering graduate. Next one. Then, uh, technical entry for Coast Guard. And you, you can find out the branches for that. Next one. University entry scheme for pre final year and final year student. This is also a very good scheme. University entry scheme was there also. And uh, many people join with this. If you have NCC, or oh, thoda sa addition uh, advantage ho jata hai. Next one. Permanent commission. Okay, I think I'll arrange one or two sessions. And in fact, for an entire year, I'll be arranging. Being a vice president of alumni association, I will be arranging every Saturday, Sunday, or evening. You will find such many experienced people who knows about the uh, uh, expert, uh, that subject. They will be giving you the this one. So I will have I have already in line. I'll share with ma'am and sir also that who all are will be giving expert sessions to you for a year uh, for one hour. Next time. Now, uh, Minister of Defence DRDO. Here also you find there are many openings after engineering. Next. Next slide. Jobs in PSUs after engineering. Yes. Next slide. And in private sector. It is always there. And you look for campus placement. You look for placement agencies or through references. Okay. So if you are going for this, not at all fit for NDA, it will not happen because you are at alien control. That means everybody is fit for joining NDA. Those who are not, they are thrown away or they are left away. Okay. So next one, government through MPSC, these are also there, most of my uh, guys are IS officers and they have done UPSC, MPSC and they are into government sector, next one, and the entrepreneur, <coughs> and Shishi is one of the entrepreneur who is an engineer and who is an armored guy and doing business, but there is definitely a failure. We need to change our mindset that why we should always do nobody. Why can't we do something of our own? Uber doesn't have has his own employees. Ek bhi employee nahi uske paas. He has only one server. And what he has is a algorithm he has designed in your mind. Simple. Shortest job. Shortest route. He doesn't have offices. He doesn't have uh, bigger uh, employees. He doesn't have his own car. He car nahi Uber ke paas. But then what does Okay, so you need a challenging thought process and get it inside your own business. Startups. Next one. Next slide. And these are the career training information technology. I can have a very separate lecture because being a computer engineer and being an in this, into education for last 31 years, I can definitely give a separate session for this. Next one. IES, जैसे AES होता है, वैसे engineering service भी होता है, this is also very good option after engineering if you do not land up into OTA or Deradon, I mean, next one, next, these are the problems normally I wanted to share, you do not fill your CET or GE form and you run out of this, that only left is private university, DIM university, BIT, PILANI, उनके एग्जाम दो अंदर यू गेट इनटू दोस इंस्टिट्यूट्स ओके बट इफ यू वांट इनी इंस्टिट्यूट व्हिच इज अंदर स्टेट सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज अफिलेटेड टू दोस यूनिवर्सिटीज यू नीड टू गिव जेई सी एंड सीटी वेयर यू विल आल्सो गेट फ्री शिप कॉलरशिप विथ डिस्काउंटेड फीस एडमिशन इन द टीम टेन प्राइवेट Think book before we do, and we are aware that Ajinkas or this one, we are not very, what I say, well to do families, average, poor, or maybe above average. Okay, maybe that sort of thing. At least we were there that having no documents, specifically domicile, okay, or your caste certificate, validity. Ye nahi hai, to again you have. 
the issues missing the deadline correct options form bharna tha you slept you did not fill up the option form you are out of the round josa as well as cet same rules deadline is timing is given 5 pm is 5 pm nahi hota hai 6 baje ho okay not filling the option form correctly when you know that you are going to get it fill it properly and when you know that you do not want to go to this college don't fill it many times people cry and come to me sir humne wo aise dal diya tha wo college allocate ho gaya we don't want it we don't want that college then what you have to go for against cap round you have to pay the full fees not reporting in time If the timing of reporting to the institute is 5 p.m., you need to report at 5 p.m. The software does not work later. वहाँ पे जाने के बाद you not brought the fees document that is fine, but you have to report in time. हाँ, there is an earthquake, बहुत बारिश आ गया, government action बढ़ा लेता है. Banks बंद थे, online हो नहीं पाया. Okay, there was a case last year, IIT Bombay, the first candidate got computer and he he was not in a position to pay 500 or 600 rupees and uh, iit bombay thrown out of the cap round he went to high court he said i tried everything i do not have a uh, uh, mobile app and all those things i am so poor i can't pay it online but i tried from the, this one and your uh, system did not work and he has shown the screenshot he went to uh, high court and that thing was stopped i got ordered him that this is the process you did not follow however there was a glitch technically he has been given additional admission this was the case last year okay so don't land up in going to to high court and supreme court it's very uh, problematic therefore you have to be in a and your deadline i'm seeking guidance from the known person like me or any other even the gay sir will tell he is my engineering graduate we Got up into uh, Government College of Engineering in 1991. We graduated together. So ask at least him. He is near to you. I am always there, but I am also here. But he is always near to you. Uh, he can give you guidance. The first thing is preparing for NDA. I want everybody to be part of NDA. I did not put. Uh, I think uh, 10 to 12 few. Uh, 12 batches i have taught courses i have taught and i have seen more than 20 pops in front of me next one next slide i think this exactly one hour and thank you for patient listening these are my email id last question this first email id was created in 2004 when gmail was by invitation my question to you is since i am an academician a researcher tell me if i ask you to send me the feedback of today's session or i want to send you the presentation and you are mailing me and if you miss that dot what will happen some of the candidate uh, cadets instead of nimesh uke they put n capital and you put capital what will happen if somebody puts everything into capital letters what will happen and somebody mischievous we put full stop at every character what will happen the answer is expected from your side will it work yes sir how many you say yes is this belong to this nilesh uke or it is something different different very good this side same again it is a matter of research and what he said you have to get dive into whatever you want to do simple everything simple you are using google for so many years or maybe for a year why it is so why everybody is using that it's a matter of research it is a study you have to dive into that inner feeling you have to do hard work i told you from that last day to this one sitting with the principal i took 27 years okay there is no shortcut in the life there is no elevator in the life okay you need to do hard work you need to face those failures 
and succeed. Thank you for patient listening. I am principal sir, ma'am uh, and sir. I was really happy interacting with my own brothers and uh, indeed it's proud privilege to stand here and talk to my own Ajinkyan. And more such sessions will be conducted by my other fellow colleagues. Thank you sir and thank you guys. If you have any questions, you can shoot right now. Ah, the question is unanswered. There was an uh, intelligent guy here. All these email ID reaches to me. This belongs to me. However, I did not create it in 2004. The first email ID was created. This gives a lesson that email ID is not case sensitive. First rule. Second, the period is not significant. Period is the sense full stop. Computer case may have period of Okay, it is insignificant whether you put or remove or add 100, it is insignificant. However, password is significant, it is case significant, and even the period or any aspect is significant in that case. Thank you once again. Any questions? I have another five minutes to talk to you. Thank you guys. Good morning to all and on our guest of today, Lieutenant Colonel Shashi Kathavakmore, Sena Medal, retired, and Dr. Nilesh Uke. Respected principals, group captain Ujwal Kormare, administrative officer, Lieutenant Colonel P. Dipati, vice principal, Lieutenant Colonel Manisha Dada, senior master, teaching staff, and the academic. I am here to propose the vote of thanks. On behalf of principal, staff, and cadets, I am delighted to express gratitude to Lieutenant Colonel Shashikant Vadmode and Dr. Nilay Shuke for their guiding directive experiences. Lieutenant Colonel Shashikant, who journeyed through failures and then with dedicated hard work, aimed in life, climbed the ladder of success. He highlighted the importance of failure and success in an individual's life. Sir, you encourage the cadets to be highly determined to achieve success. I extend sincere thanks to Dr. Nilesh Uke, Principal Trinity Academy of Engineering, for sharing with us his findings and opinion of the current and future requirements for the cadets and inspiring them. I assure you, sir, that your valuable work will surely work and help in shaping the future of the cadets. I am thankful to the principal, Senate School Satara, for gracing the occasion. I thank Vice Principal and Administrative Officer for their kind support. I would like to thank Senior Master, all members of teaching staff, for their energetic presence here and the cadets who intently took every work and showcased the discipline. I thank the complete team and every member who worked on and off the scene to make this event successful. I conclude by thanking everyone. Thank you, one and all.